Hey, what is up YouTube? It's Hamdog Hype, and welcome back to the channel. So today, we'll be opening up another Metal Raiders 25th Anniversary Booster Box. So today will be the Thanksgiving when I upload this video, hopefully, if the schedule works and everything else uh, with my openings today. But uh, one thing I'm very thankful for is the release of the Yu-Gi-Oh! 25th Anniversary, sorry, the re-release of some old sets. So super, super thankful for that this year. And why not kind of like basically use this opportunity to just open up an entire booster box for this in one video. Usually I split these booster boxes into like two videos where I'll open like 20, 12 packs each video, but screw that today. We're going to do a super long video where we open up an entire booster box, which has 23 packs in it. So very nice. And we're just going to basically start from the right and go to the left. So, and I'm, I'm not going to try drags on too long, but we basically pulled all the cards we really wanted from this, except for two cards, which are the summon skull and the time wizard so hopefully today we will get that summon skull and time wizard they are ultra rares so you're only guaranteed two ultra rares per uh, box so they would have to be those two ultra rares so let's see what we get so first pack let's start the secret rares we are the thousand dragon and the gate guardian which we already have so not particularly looking for those but if we double up on those that'd be awesome so our first pack we have an illusionist faceless mage Jizzo number seven, Doma the Angel of Silence, Great Moth. Oh, a Horn of Heaven. Okay, I think I already pulled that actually. So starting off this box already with an Ultra. So very nice. So unfortunately that takes away one slot of Ultras for the actual um, the uh, Time Wizard or the Summon Skull, but very nice in Ultra nonetheless. So we'll keep that in the back. Finishing off this pack, we have Pumpkin, the King of Ghosts, uh, Guardian the Labyrinth, Morphin, and Jellyfish. So yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite sets of all time in Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, you have classics like the Thousand Dragon, Summon Skull, Time Wizard. Uh, so just awesome. And the Gate Guardian too. I never was a huge, huge fan of Gate Guardian, but I always wanted him as a kid. Just because in the anime, he just looked so incredible. Even though he's kind of like really, really dumb in the actual game. <laughs> but whatever. Anyways, we have a Yada Karu, Punished Eagle, Petite Moth, Unhappy Maiden, Blade Fly, Block Attack, Battle Steer, Legul, and Blackland Fire Dragon. So yeah, I'm going to quickly go through all these packs just because this is our third box and I don't really think we need to park too much on the poles now. I just kind of want to see what ultras and what supers I can get. There's still a lot of supers I still need to get, but the ultras are definitely the hardest to get just because you're only guaranteed about two in a box. And you can, it's really would suck to double up on them. I think we doubled up a few times. Magician of Faith. And then nice, we got Sewage in. So we do already, we have already pulled a Sewage in. Um, so yeah, we're starting to double up on the supers now. But yeah, I've already doubled up on quite a bit of Ultras, which really sucks. I think we got a few Magic Jammers already. But either way, my third set, so no problem. Ancient Brain, Lady of Faith, Hunter Spider, oh, and a Disc Magician. I do plan on actually buying a lot more of these boxes uh, now that I started my new job, so I can actually like uh, like invest in these. <laughs> uh, I just love splurging on like old Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, especially my Yu-Gi-Oh channel actually has grown quite a bit. It kind of took a little bit of a it's, it's, it's a little bit like on a pause right now, just because I haven't been able to find the newer sets, but oh well. I still love opening this stuff up anyway. Ancient Lizard Warrior, Hayabusa, a Witch of the Black Forest, very nice. A Mystic Horseman, Armored Lizard, Ancient Elf, Play Ghoul, and that's in the pack, this pack. So yeah, Witch of the Black Forest, always a really, really cool pull. Another classic card. And yeah, we're about, I think, halfway, a uh, quarter of the way through the box, actually. Something like that, and we've already pulled two hollows, which is very nice. We'll get, uh, once we're halfway through, we'll kind of, I'll make like a little note of that for you guys. So we have a Magician King, uh, Kakuno Evolution, Labyrinth Tank, Cannon Soldier, Ryukushin Powered, King of Yami Makai, Morphin, and Blast Juggler. Pretty sure I just said Morphin's name wrong. Morin Fen, something like that. All right, yeah, so now we're a third. After this pack, we'll be a fourth of the way there, so... Hopefully this video is less than 20 minutes. That is my goal to open up a booster box in under 20 minutes. In my Pokemon videos, the booster box is taking me almost like 40 minutes, which is kind of crazy. Anyways, we have a Pale Beast, Mystic Lamp, Harpy Lady, Soul Release, nice card, Dark Elf, and Wing, Wing Dragon, Guardian of Fortress, Beast of Butcher, Larva Moth, and Prevent Rat. So yeah, I think Soul Release was one of the first cards that actually banished cards initially, so. They don't really do that anymore. Uh, they, they, they don't. They do that more often now. But back then, there was only a few cards that would actually banish cards or remove them from play, essentially. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and see what other hollows we can pull. We still have not pulled our secret rare yet. Apparently, you can get two secret rares in a box. It's very, very rare, but it can happen in an error box. Star Boy, and we got the Cory box. Okay, uh, Guardian of the Labyrinth, Cybersaurus, Thunder Dragon. Very nice. Apparently, it's rare, but you can actually get 
two secrets per box. Uh, one of my um, commenters, uh, like someone, someone on subs has actually uh, confirmed that. So hopefully one of these days we get a box with two secrets. Anyways, let's go ahead and open this pack. If it sounds like I'm rushing this, I apologize. I have like six boxes I really want to open today. Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon. So we'll see how far I get. Castle of Dark Illusion, Illusion's Faceless Mage. Wing, blue, whatever, water acromatics. Oh, Witch's Apprentice, okay. I don't remember pulling that. Armored Lizard, oh, Baby Dragon, very nice. Flame Cerberus and Prevent Rat. Baby Dragon is one of my favorite monsters just because he is part of the Time Wizard, the, a Thousand Dragon, Polymerization Combination. And then we have, I think this is our ninth pack. So we're doing pretty well with time right now. We have a Mystic Lamp, Protector of the Throne, Crass Clown, Empress Judge, Robin Go- Wait, is that a hollow? No, that's a rare. And, oh, nice! Our hollow is actually a twin-headed Thunder Dragon. I don't know if we pulled that yet. It's very hard to see that hollow, actually. But, it is there. <laughs> um, so, very cool. I don't think I pulled this yet, quite yet. I should have checked my, uh, my pulls, but... I put them in a binder, so, whatever. Queen's Double, and then Paralyzing Potion. So, so far, so good. We're about... I don't know, like, I would say like a third of the way through this box now, which is nice. It'll probably just be under 20 minutes long, this whole opening. We have a germ infection, a deep sea shark, Kakoji, I don't know how you say that to be honest, a shadow ghoul, and oh, I thought we pulled another um, thousand dragon, that would have been really cool, and a seven colored fish to end that pack. All right, two more packs, and then we are about, we are halfway through, so. Still no secret, and we still have two more supers and one more ultra. So we got quite a few pulls, uh, hits coming in very, very soon. So we have a Niwatari. Wow, that's, that's a lot of silvering on the side. Soggy the Dark Clown. Haven't pulled many of those yet. Uh, we have a Millis Radiant and a Trent. Huh. Don't, uh, even though I've, I've opened three of these boxes, some of these monsters I just do not recognize. I wonder if I have a master set yet of everything besides like, you know, all the hollows. I feel like I do have a master set by now, but I'll have to go through the collection one of these days. This is the 12th pack, so we're halfway through this video after this pack. And this pack is a little crinkled actually, and just does not want to open up. Probably our secret rare, let's see. So we have a Rock Ogre Grotto number one, Kim no Mario attack, Share the Pain, Swamp Battle Guard, Mask of Darkness, and a sort of deep, deep seated, whatever that means. Uh, Hunter Spider and Ancient Elf. All right, so 12 more packs left. We're gonna move on to the left side of the box. So this box is now empty. Um, so I am keeping the display part of the box for eventually when I have my own like official gaming room, I will display those around, that'd be nice. Anyways, 13th pack of this video. So we've just hit the halfway mark. And let's see if we can finally pull that secret rare. Hopefully we don't get an error box where we don't pull a secret. That would really suck. Um, but it doesn't matter because we already have the secrets from the set. Oh, Shield and Sword, one of my favorite cards of all time. Another Skull Knight, Battle Steer, Tainted Wisdom, Blackland Fire Dragon. Shield and Sword, a classic card. I love that one, so use it in my old school deck quite a bit. Anyways, we have our 14th pack. And these are opening up a little bit weirdly for me. Ah, I got stuck on that. All right. We have an Illusionist Faceless Mage. Niwatari, Ground Bra whatever that is, Shadow Ghoul, and uh, it's a Kazajin. So we are um, pulling some Gate Garden pieces. Will that mean that we're gonna pull a Gate Garden as our secret? Maybe actually. We have we have uh, doubled up on secrets before, which really sucked. But in this case, because we have the other secret, it doesn't matter if we double up. But I am a bigger fan of the Thousand Dragon, so I would rather get the Thousand Dragon over the Gate Guardian if I had to choose. Unfortunately, with these boxes, you don't really get the, chance, the opportunity to choose. You kind of just have to get lucky with what you get, which is fine. Classic cards are amazing. So we have a Cheerful Coffin, Giga Tech Wolf, Uguchi, Swamp Battle Guard, Dark Elf, and, okay, King of Yami Kai again. I don't know why I thought that was a hollow. A Disc Magician and Legul. So yeah, it's really weird. Sometimes the rare is like the fourth card or the fifth card. It's really, really weird. And you would think the next card, if the rare is in a different spot, is like the hollow, but that's not really the case all the time. So I don't know how they really package these, to be honest. But whatever. Let's just get straight into this pack. 
I was doing a card trick for a while, but then it was it just wasn't consistent enough to continue. Launcher Spider, Ancient Lizard Warrior, Cannon Soldier, and Ryu Cushion Power. Wow, we have gone a huge drought without any real um, real hollows. We've still only pulled pulled four. You're guaranteed seven, so we still have three more hollows we can pull. You're you, you're supposed to be guaranteed seven. If you have an error box, obviously that that number can change. But whatever. Wow, that is a huge defect. I don't know if you can see that. That card's like it's almost like it's split in half. It's it's hard to tell off camera. But wow, there's like a line right through the middle. Interesting. Mystic Lamp. It's only that one. It's not this one. So Tremendous Fire. Isubo. Elegant Egotist. Nice. Lady of Faith. Destroyer Golem. Prevent Rat. And Guilty of the Knight. Guilty of the D Knight. Sorry, he's a Dragon Knight. I don't know why they use dra a D for Dragon all the time. Not all the time, I guess. Only for some uh, some cards. It's weird. They don't call it Blue Eyes D Dragon or Red Eyes D Dragon. Uh, guilty of the d knight or something like that lord of dragons i get because the d uh the d is plural maku maku so this is in the fourth slot is this a hollow it is a hollow and it's actually the secret which is the thousand dragon not thousand d thousand dragon guys <laughs> so very nice to double up on the super that we really 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 wanted so we'll put that in these new sleeves that we got and that is just a beautiful card the super to pull in my opinion so we'll leave that right there next to horn of heaven we have a Roaring Ocean Snake, Dream Clown, uh, Cybersaurus, and a Seven Colored Fish. So, Seeker hasn't pulled. It's the one we wanted, so that's awesome. Anyways, next pack, we're about 75% through this video, which is very nice. Do not want to drag this on way too long. This will be the, probably the last booster box we find for a while. But if I can find some cheap ones, I will buy more. Ooh, Mass Sorcerer. I don't know if we pulled this yet. When this card uh, inflicts battle damage to your opponent's life points, draw one card. Oh, interesting. Okay. I guess it's kind of hard to use nowadays because, uh, well, in, in general, actually, because all the monsters back then, um, even then, were, like, pretty high um, attack power. Like, if you look at uh, just seven color fish alone, it's, like, 1,800. But I mean, if you can jack that thing up when I mean, it's sword and shield, uh, sorry, shield and sword or something, maybe you can get some use out of that because that's a pretty broken card if you can get it to attack and inflict battle damage. So yeah, that was that I opened the pack really weirdly for some reason. <laughs> Giga Tech Wolf, Tremendous Fire, Harpy Lady. Wow, that is really damaged. Actually, I think it's just, I think it's just dust. No, actually, that is somewhat damaged. That is weird. It's like a factory error. I hope that's not common. Yeah, that, that card is really damaged. Elegant Egotist. Will we pull the Harpy Lady Sisters? No, another tribute to the Doom though. That is one super you want to pull over and over again. I don't know if I've doubled up on this yet. I definitely pulled one before, but wow. What a great super. Awesome. Another card I use in my classic deck. Uh, and then we have these. So actually, you know, considering that we pulled four supers already, one secret and only one ultra, in these last four packs, there should only be one ultra rare. So let's see if it is that Summon Skull or the Time Wizard. I would prefer the Summon Skull, to be honest. No, I'm sorry, not the Summon Skull, the Time Wizard. Just because I, I really just like the Time Wizard way more. Its effect is kind of broken. White magical hat. Another baby dragon. Is that gonna is that a signal that we're gonna get a time wizard? Let's see. The hunt for the time wizard will have to continue if we flunk out in this box. Time wizard and summon skull. There's not many other ultras that I like in the set, but you know, we've doubled up on solid judgment already, I think. Or magic jammer. I think it's magic jammer actually, so that'd be interesting to pull one of those again. Empress Judge, Big Eye, False Trap, Crawling Dragon, Trent. Queen's double, Thunder Dragon. All right, two packs left, and we got one Ultra left, so what will it be? Metal Raiders, box number three. Which one are we going to get? Or which one, which pack, I should say, is going to have the Ultra in it? Cocoon of Evolution, Soul Release again. Hygusen. Oh, wow, okay, so, huh. Um, we're on the final pack, so if we do not pull an Ultra from this... This is indeed an error box, guys, so keep that in mind. That's, that'll be interesting. But this pack theoretically should have the Ultra Rare, the last Ultra Rare, because we've only pulled one so far. Unless I missed it in the cards, I'll have to go through them. This should have an Ultra Rare. So we can actually do the pack trick. I think it's three from the back. Yep, so three from the back, and this, this last card should be the Ultra Rare. So we have Pumpkin King of Ghosts, Something Thunder, Deep Sea Shark, 
Castle of Dark Illusions, Petite Moth, Water Automatics, Little Chimera, and <gasps> no way! <laughs> was the time wizard oh let's go that is awesome the time wizard my favorite one of my favorite ultras of all time oh so awesome uh a little fun story i used to use a like a pokemon coin to activate its effect and you can tell which side that coin landed on because one side is shiny one side is not so i would catch it and then i put it on my um my like my wrist and i'd be like oh it was this one and i would always get the uh, the flip right and use its effect so i kind of cheated with this card a little bit but it was a lot of fun so great way to end this i love this this is exactly the monster i wanted to end this on wow what a journey getting a chance to relive basically og Yu-Gi-Oh. i know they're the 25th anniversary cards and they say 2020 but hey you know these are classic monsters to me in their classic artwork so i'll take that let's just quickly go through all these uh cards one more time uh, we got some awesome supers. We got Tribute to the Doomed with uh, Fusion, actually, a Twin Head Thunder Dragon, a uh, Kazogen, and a Suogen. Then we got a Time Wizard, probably my favorite pull of this, and then a Horn of Heaven, and then, of course, my favorite super, oh, sorry, secret, excuse me, from this set. Not my favorite secret of all time. I think Guy of the Dragon Champion is still my favorite secret, or maybe even Jinzo, but my favorite secret from this set, which is the Thousand Dragon. So this was an epic opening for me. I'm so happy I got this box. I, I still buy these on Amazon, so like, you know, you kind of just have to go with what you get. Um, which is the same in real life, you have to buy them. So anyways, thank you for watching. I uh, hope you guys have great, some great holidays, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.